did you say that? Squirrels are our very walls. Jorveth led them. I saw him with my own ah. eyes. Who are these blokes? They're the ones the elves were chasing. Assault in broad daylight. What about Laredo? Where's your commandant when we need him? Quiet woman. Shut it yourself. Guzzling <laughs> ale and lollygagging, that's all Laredo What are you looking at? <clears throat> Trouble. Oh, no. I'm not talking to a freak. Wait a minute. Be off, or I'll call the guards. Say something, or did you just fart? I think the stew's ready. Yeah, yeah. Why? <coughs> Artist at work. Well, I see you, you might want to stir friend. it. My ah, doubt. Some hanging. I a bunch of the material. A spy. I heard the spy is cowardly. You're a worthy man. Think he'll oh, see himself. Welcome. I suppose I have seen my share. That spy included. He'll shit himself I do without not a doubt. Want some. Gates are closed until further notice. I do believe you know not whom you address. Just nonsense. Greetings! What brings you here, White Wolf? Make yourself at home, please. Do we know each other? I've heard, or rather read much about you, in the letters of the Rivian Diaspora. Well, nice to meet you. Einar Gausel, fundamentally a trader in old curios, although I also concern myself with the non-human community.
books in Flotsam, I wouldn't have thought it a profitable enterprise. Hey, many foreigners come through here. Sometimes they buy books, sometimes they have tomes to sell. Yesterday, for example, Lady Sheila de Tansevo purchased items for a sum equal to my yearly dealings. Did she buy anything interesting? De Vermis Mysteries, the Exeter Treaties, complete and unabridged, plus a very expensive volume I'd rather not mention. I should add, as generosity must be praised, that she made a donation to the community, specifically to the Fund for Widows and Orphans. The non-humans in Flotsam are organised? We aren't. But we aid each other as best we can. I mainly collect taxes and announce the Commandant's dispositions. That'd make you a prime target for Yorbeth. <laughs> You're correct on that account. He's warned me many times, and I've explained the need for my function to him just as many. Both in vain. It seems we've agreed to disagree. Well, the sword is his calling, the pen is mine. Hence, no meeting of the minds. It wasn't always this hard. Turned sour when several elven lassies disappeared. We lost our trust in the humans and the Scoia'tael ceased trusting us. Did they turn up, the women? No. I believe Necker's killed them. I remember Mora loved the White Hands. She and her lover made a beautiful pair.
Zoltan. Dandelion, my informer. Just great. What's the plan? We improvise. No killing. We'll take care of this, Triss. Geralt! Geralt! Over here! Help! Dog catcher. Step back, white one. What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is collusion with a sky or two. Dandelion and Elven spy? The bard's hanging for debauchery. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! Are you serious? Listen here, people. Is profligacy now a punishable offense in the Free Kingdom of Temeria, or are we in Nilfgaard? A piss off, freak! Or you'll have me to deal with. Think of the common folk, you're spoiling their fun. Well, freak he may be, but he speaks true. Debauchery is one of my favorite pastimes, but I don't want a noose placed around my neck for pursuing it. The soldier boys paid us a visit or two, though we didn't have much fun. Away with you, Margo! Go back to your brothel! Time to go? Fine. But hear this, people. He sure liked to parade about, but his willy wouldn't come to attention. Ha! Stop the execution. Shut your trap. The thing is to hang, and he will hang. This is a decent town. Whores and witches notwithstanding. Watch your words, guardsman. I don't know witches, but Margot's a decent woman. Shut it, all of you! Or I'll not vouch for what I'll do. Thinks he's tough, showing off his balls. Don't fret, people. I've seen the rot on them. <laughs> I'm warning you for the last time, Margo! You wouldn't hit a lady. You're no lady! Careful, Witcher! Assaulted an officer! Go, Margo! <laughs> Got room for one more deviant. <laughs> Oh, look here out! Assaulted an officer! Hang oh. anyway! going on here? I said, what the arse fuck is going on? Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. <laughs> Out of my sight, Clover. A few plowing bandits and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm. Hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? You have no right to hang them. Interesting. Because I'm the law in Flotsam. I take issue with that. Vernon Roach, officer of the king. Well, well. Blue Stripes. The non-human hunters. Precisely. Anyone suspected of collaborating with the Scoia'tael falls under my jurisdiction. And Dandelion? What's he accused of? He burned down a watchtower. What's your jurisdiction say to that? I thought so. Is that true? It might have looked that way, but I swear it wasn't my fault. I'd rather give you a thief. Relax. 
I'm joking. I hate thieves. We can put on another show, bloody and serious this time, mind you, or we can come to an understanding. Meaning? Give me a minute, would you? Listen here. You may have heard rumours of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalette Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoyatel had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders, prepare to fight, and ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse. Go to your homes. What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. They were really going to hang us. I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we all. We owe you, Geralt. Thank you. Time to hit the tavern. Come on, Dandelion, you need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery neath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. Sometimes, all the halls of politicians wallowing in dirt. <laughs> Watch it, Witcher. Bloody grubs, I hope they rot in hell. Thank you. 
Watch it. We're out of mutton. What do you want me to do? Shit a sheep? Well, that doesn't make any sense. What? Smart ass, eh? Hmm. Greetings. Might find something interesting here. Start any brawls. Peace and quiet. Get it? Of course. I've got my eye on you. That was close. Innkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. No wedding, Zoltan. Ha! <laughs> the Bregan rigs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. I would be Papa Law refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. Innkeep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi crack owls, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have held a pen drop. Old Breckenrig rose and he says, A real dwarf works a mine, not chases fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenrick says, then proceeded to slop two full balls of the shite. Old goat. Hope his mind caves in on his head. Triss, you're the expert on Tamaria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbolt and Count Merivel, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air.
where were the mages? Aye, where were the grey eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. Neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimbolt would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Lands, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds significant stake. I think I've heard enough about politics. The dragon, well, the dragon appeared and that's all I know. But where do the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltis might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey! Nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Leave him be, Geralt. You play the spy a bit, get bored and drop it. You know how he is. Lorido said you're working with the Scoia'tael, Zoltan. I have done many things in my life, Geralt, but I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoia'tael don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoia'tael. Foltest's killer lay in wait in the tower, where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Scoia'tael were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. Sorceress, are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say... I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. 
The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. Sozek's alive, and nowhere near the depths. The monster's vanished without a trace. You best take us seriously, lest you vanish without a trace. I'm tired of your whining. Get out of here. Ah, oh, as ever. It's the common folk that get ploughed. Come on, lads! I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold, sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species to throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact, too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairan emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there, on the upper floor. You know the inn's also a whorehouse. Thanks for the warning. Oh, Go ask the mason to take you as his apprentice. You'll learn it trade. Gabriel. I've always preferred the wandering life. Meet new people, beat some of them up. Tell me your life. Not really, it's a shithole. But plenty of folk to beat up. I'll be damned. Ever seen the river monster, the Cairn? I have, but I'm not the talkative kind. Speak up. You don't know a thing. Leave me alone, will you? Uh, 
going somewhere, friend. What do you want? Heard you have a problem. Ah, if only we had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. Can't help with the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. A sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage a loan. You can split that reward if you wish. Well, we're managing it together now, so as I see it, you should double the reward. <laughs> you jest! You'll double what you offered Lady to Tanzerville, because that's what the contract's worth. So be it. I assume you to be professionals and worth every last copper paid to you. It's a deal. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the Witcher, damn it! I've no knowledge of these things. Who could tell me more? That plowing elf, Cedric, most probably. He's supposed to know all about monsters. Where can I find him? In the village, outside the walls. Now leave me be. Why? Artist at work. Like you might want to stir it. I don't stir. I work the material. Back off to dusk. Lorito wanted to see me. Commandant's busy. Come back after dusk.
I tell him. Hunter, pouch. Or your pouch and your life. What did he say? He said there's a third option. Then his hand inched towards his knife. Nervy. What then? He got a bolt in the back. Too bad he turned out to be poor. The poor ones are always uppity. What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You're going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. With these cunts, Laredo couldn't protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorveth. He succeeded so far, Roach. The port is rotting away and this prick throws fire. A ballista! The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Mm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about Ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Nothing better than a fireside face. I think these drunkards protect <laughs> people from the Peasants and uniforms. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. Sniffing around like dogs in a rubbish dump. What do you need, ugly? Ugly. Well, you ain't exactly handsome. But? I wouldn't worry. Women prefer ugly men to groomed dandies. And you're ugly something mighty. Care for a romp? Can't just now, but I'll find you later in town. What's your name? Margarita. I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? Just go with your specialty. All right, it'll be my standard rate. Draw him away from the ballista while you're at it. Slap me hard and call me stupid. Trying to put one by me? That'll cost you more. How's that? Surcharge on special requests. Those are the rules. Let me think it over. A favor for a favor? There is one thing you could do for me. And that is? Myron and Alphonse, two of Laredo's thugs. Give him a good thrashing and I'll even blow I stirred up enough trouble as it is during the execution. No need to stir trouble. Just humiliate them some ways. Consider it done. Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Not just yet. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add plough into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. I don't like freaks. And I don't like oafish no necks. What do you want, mutant? 
to try my luck. Arm wrestling. I'm gonna crush you, mutant. Save the boasting till later. Let's do this. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's yeah. true. You know this one. <laughs> and then you know, skipping down the path. Plam all, plam all. Along came a dwarf man, <laughs> kicked him in the arse. Plam all, plam all. Oh, you are fuck, dirty rotten scum. Plam all, plam all. Do that again, and I'll fuck you, mum. Plow them all. You've had a song. Care for some real diversion? You're weak! A lame mutant! Downright pitiful! Nothing better than a fireside fee. They say witches have <laughs> no need to fireside fees with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add plow into the Did mix you hear? it doesn't get any better. Two big shots arrived. Luckily, the commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle. Hmm? I'll not show you so much as a tip for that. All right, I'm off to give the boy some diversion. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. Care for a little diversion, brave one? I'm on duty. Nothing better than a oh, fireside feast. Your comrades are <laughs> well after having their fun. Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. Would you be any worse? <laughs> You're right. Add plough into Let's the mix go. and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the commandant's provided Don't you traipse around here. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a storage for you. Care for so a long as he can afford to tell it. One. I'll not I'm lend an ear for less than oh, ten orans. Your comrades are well at it having their fun. Why should you be any worse? All right, let's go. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. A little help was skipping down the path. Plam all, plam all. Along came a dwarf man, kicked him in the arse. Plam all, plam all. Oh, you are fuck, dirty rotten scum. Plow them all, plow them all. Do that again, and I'll fuck you, mum. Plow them all. Oh, you like your son. Oh, yes, like that, real you could conquer all version. That one struts about as if he were the king himself. List is decommissioned. Perfect. Let's go see Lurido. Lurido's busy with that witch Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Yes? Do we wait until the Honorable Lady is done with the Venerable Hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. An offer? Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? Might have heard something. I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. Just tell me what you want. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. Go on. 
Around back, there's a storage area where Laredo keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Laredo's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck. All right. I'll distract the guard. You sneak behind the house. Brilliant as ever. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of... Soldier! Liquor. Report to me immediately! Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story. What do you want? Shut it, soldier. Have respect for your superiors or spend the rest of your life on the king. In Flotsam, we cut the hands off thieves. I was looking for the privy. You're lucky the Commandant wants to see you. Come on! Commandant, sir. We called the witcher sneaking around the garden. Bring him in and leave. Yes, sir. We were just discussing a certain matter. You here on business too? The Commandant wanted to see me. In that case, I shall leave you to it. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate, though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here, and the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. What about Vernon Roach? Why didn't you let him in? Roach? Know the aura that surrounds him? Men like him act first and think later. And when they act, almost inevitably innocent blood flows. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. My enemy's enemy is my friend. We barely escaped with our lives the last time we ran into Yorvith. Damn squirrels draw ever nearer. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure, they eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. I'm surprised they haven't turned on you already. How so? The town guards treat non-humans like shit. Frankly, I don't know what keeps them here. I'll tell you what, Geralt. The hunger they'd face in the forest. But I grant you, those acts of uh, insubordination need to be stopped. Soldiers are simple men. When you see your mate die, a Scoyatel arrow in his throat, it's hard to look favorable at the elf who sells your wife colored kerchiefs. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. Yorvith's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. 
As soon as their infamous leader joins them, the cherry on the cake and Bernard Lorito's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves, and dwarfs will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You can start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Cairn has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. That is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Cairn and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. I'm a witcher. I don't work for free. Of course you don't. Help us capture the Scoyatel commander, and you'll be rewarded generously. Straight from the trading post's treasury. I'll see what I can find out. Now you stir up storms wherever you go. I actually believe you'll bring peace to Flotsam. Don't disappoint this town, Geralt. Farewell. Entry only on the Commandant's express orders. Off you go. No passage. Say <laughs> that one struts about as if he were the king himself. Huh? Did you hear? Two big shots arrived. I wonder what they want. Turned me away at the door, the bastard. <laughs> we'll meet later. Don't forget your weapons on the way out.
tell him. I'm taking your pouch. Or your pouch and your lock. What did he say? He said there's a third option. Then his hand inched towards.